Okay, now we've run the base installation, which is the point of that first part of the script. The next thing we want to do, now since this is a live system and not running from a hard drive or anything like that, you say you see what it says here, reboot and load the SDA2 bootloader. That's this disk and that website that I put on my link there will take you and tell you to download this disk and then you burn it like you would any other bootable ISO image. Anyways, all you have to do with this, just turn it off. Then you boot with the eject button again. And you don't have to be super quick putting the next disc in. You just pop the disc in. The blue screen will be on the, on here like this. And then you See, it does say optical media not present three seconds before continuing, but it's it will find it. Okay, see, found it. The reason I'm making this video is just to show you <coughs> how to do the second part. You boot from this other disc, and then it uh, automatically starts the next part, uh, installing it. You don't have to do anything. You actually tell you can tell it goes because the uh, fonts on the screen change. You can tell that it's going into a different mode. You see the fonts have changed. I don't know if you notice that, but I do because I'm sitting right in front of it on the camera. And you have to log in and you have to use the keyboard that's plugged into your Xbox and I do believe that it's just root like that okay well and then it wants you to make a password so you make a password And then retype it, everyone knows how to do that. And now it's starting the installation. That's it. Obviously, I'm not going to sit here for a two hour video, but it will take about two hours. Um, when the two hours are up, I guess I can show the part where you have to set up the video drivers. However, my problem is the login screen is messed up and I have to set it to go only to a, gra a non graphical interface and then start the X window system manually. Not that big of a deal, but it would be for somebody who's just looking for a desktop system that loads their desktop but of course <laughs> that's why you have to do to even get the 360 to do this anyways so anyways I'll be back when I have the installation completed and I'll show you how to set up the video card and uh, the X server rather